know, a part sounds great. I like the part where King Arthur and Lancelot fight over one of you. It's right after Mordred shows up and says, I'm the king, I'm the king. What? You? Read a book. Cliff's no. Oh, it took me forever. Well, it's even better than the book. There's all these knights jousting and storming the castle. Oh, we get our guys in overalls riding pickup trucks. Tell me about it. Hey, Willard. Howdy. How y'all doing? Good. Great. Hey, Rusty. Hey, Willard. Well, see ya. <laughs> hey, Willard. That's Gates. You two are pathetic. When you guys gonna have a real conversation? Oh, Willard is not capable of a real conversation. I kind of like that in a guy. <laughs> hey, Ren. How's the new job? Sorry about saying they had fired yet. You may have found your future. You may have. Uh, what can I get you? I'll have a Diet Coke. Diet Coke. I'll have the uh, <clears throat> Hula Burger Double Cut of Cheese Melt, extra mayo, and order of fries. And a Diet Coke. And Ariel, what's your pleasure? It's not on the menu. <laughs> She usually doesn't even remember me. Well, that outfit looks like such an idiot. It's easy to pick you out. You always let us for a fight, aren't you, Lily? Mama said this is my nature. Would you shut up and tell me what you know about Ariel? Well, I know she's a few kids, a lot. And? And she's talking to you like a hog on a slop. Get out of here. Ariel likes trouble, and you definitely proved to this town that you are T-R-U-B-L. Come on, I was only teasing. Ariel, that's more than teasing. Red is from out of town. No puppy guy can like curl your toes. You want to have a so bad? I bet you memorized bus schedules. You said you read just to escape to other worlds. Exactly. In books, I get to be guys who actually amaze me. So what about Red? What about Red? He's sort of smart. He's kind of tall. I think he's handsome. Cute. Maybe. But can you really compare? Chuck Cranston, the rugged, dangerous high school dropout slash drug dealer who was recently <laughs> evicted from his trailer park. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, Willard, what's between you and Rusty? Beats me. I think she's good looking and all, but I never know what the heck she's talking about. She talks faster than any girl I've ever made. That's because she's on to you like a hog on slob. You think? <laughs> Only I can find a guy who can make the first move. Only I can find a guy who, when he went to kiss me tonight, would take the toothpick out of his mouth.
mistake. You really are something, though. What do you mean? I mean the whole package. Miss, just kid, Chuck Kratz, his girlfriend. Guilty. It's just a rock, or just a cow, church girl, girl, with some rock and red cowboy My daddy hates me wearing these boots. I bet you love that, huh? You get all of his face. That way he'll notice when I'm gone. Where do you want to go? College, for starters. I've been playing this with since daddy doesn't even know it exists. I want to speak five languages and see the world. He wants me to teach English lit in Baylor County. They don't even speak English in Baylor County. And I can't see you as a teacher. Thank you. Neither can I. I'll leave that to my daddy. But wait, he's a preacher, not a teacher. When you're good at it, it's the same thing. And he used to be really good. What happened? His mind. He closed it. I noticed. He used to be so open and so inspiring. I watched him give hope when there was none. I watched him change lives. If you love him so much, why are you just trying to take him off? I didn't say I loved him. Do I know what you mean? My dad. Yeah, what happened there? I don't know. Just up and left one day. No goodbyes, nothing. Bet you got lots to say to him. Yeah, I could. Like what? I could. Tell to the train. I do. Someone's got to put down. 